Okay, in the last tutorial I showed you how to make input boxes for your contact page. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to make your submission button work. So, the first thing you would like to do is come to your submit and just delete the word, the text. And you would like to use a common library asset. So come to the window, common library, and button tab. Okay, you can choose from any of these buttons, but I think I'm just going to use the button around it. Okay, since my background has orange in it, I think I'll just use the rounded orange button. Move this into place. Okay, give it an instance name of enter underscore DTN. Okay. And at the very top, you would like to create a new tab and name this tab AS3 for Action Script 3. You would like to press F9 to open up the Actions panel. Okay, and you would like to type this code. I already typed it, but I will read it line by line. Line 7 is really long. Okay. The first thing you like to do is type enter underscore btn for the button you just placed on the page. You would like to add an event listener. We're listening for a mouse event. And the mouse event that we're listening for is a click. This click will send data. Okay. Then you would like to add a function which sends data using an event object, mouse event, and place it as void. You like to add traces in between the curly brackets. You would like to trace each of your contact boxes. So your first one is name underscore txt dot text so that we know it's a text element and trace the email underscore txt and the message underscore txt okay I'd like to make this a little bit smaller okay anyways <coughs> we like to make a variable and the email, you can put anything here. I just decided to use the email. Look for a URL request, a new URL, and mail to place your email. That's my email. Okay, come down a little bit. Sorry about that. Okay, once you place your email, you like to put a question mark. Type in from equal exclamation I mean not exclamation quotations plus email underscore txt gosh I like the way they collapse this okay email underscore txt plus quotation and subject equal from website uh -oh. it is videos. I'm sorry about that okay and body equals message underscore txt dot text from and here we're going to put the name text the reason we put the name text is so that so that I know who I'm getting the email from. Okay. And we would like to navigate this page to URL the email. Okay. When doing this, the first thing that's probably going to happen when your user tries to send you an email is it's going to open up the email client such as Outlook 
So let's test this out. Control Enter. Come to contact page. I'm going to type James, which is my name, and email. And the message I'm just going to put you rock. Okay, push enter. And as you see, as you should be seeing, Outlook should pop up, but right now it's kind of not popping up to me. There we go. Let's see the subject is from website the custom message I put in there so I know where the message is coming from and here is going straight to my email and here's the message that they typed and who it's from so I'm just gonna exit that out and exit that out and this is the end of this tutorial thank you for watching subscribe rate comment and see you in the next tutorial.